loves I thought every going to... single one of you. He died for all of you. Every single yeah, one of you. You know, earlier... And not a single one of you oh, are going to be saved without his blood. Monster. He is justified. He's given you his... He's given you his life. That? Wait, I know bro. that. He's done this. Can He's I... done it for every single one of you. Now, if you don't accept that, you will go to hell. You'll perish. Do you understand that? Please. You know, earlier it's you said... serious. Earlier okay? you said you are going serious. to have a dialogue. Now you're going into preaching more. No, you see, I am... A... That's what I'm going to do. I'm not dialogue. I'm preaching. That's what I'm doing. If you want to preach, camp, you know... No, if That's you want to fine. preach, you should go to the no, church I'm then. I'm telling you, you that you're not going to be saved. Okay, you don't no, want to have a dialogue now. Any other way, but by the blood right. of Jesus. I don't think Christ, you want to have a dialogue now. And then, when you have repented and got on your knees and said, "God, I know what I am. I'm a wretch. There's nothing I can do to save myself." No, and I beg you, no, I beg you, no, I beg you for forgiveness. Yeah. Sure. And you ask him, and right. you mean, you know, and you're the thing genuine. Is, if you go into a preaching you know what mode, he'll do. He'll forgive you. No, I don't need to have a dialogue. He'll give you his Holy Spirit. He'll sanctify you. Where did you hear that? You're set apart. I want to know where you. He will set you apart. Can you save you from that feeling? All of this, all you are. Where did you hear? Do you want to perish? Oh, she doesn't want to have a dialogue. <laughs> where did you hear? Going that? into preaching. It's fine. It's fine. I understand your message. It's a good message. Can I ask where you heard that? God, put this in. Where? The gospel. The gospel. Which gospel? God brings that alive. Did you hear it in the KJV like or the God NIV? You such no, no, no. no. I mean, who you... died? God or humans? God. Who God. died on the cross? God. 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 So you think God can die? Seriously. Can God die? They need a savior. Can Mary needed a savior? Can God die? Can God die? Seriously. God where can do what he wants. Get... Why, why do you think that God can't do what he wants to I'll do? I'll tell you why. God can do Shall whatever I tell you, he wants. Shall I tell you why? Because if you follow the Bible, the Bible says that God alone is immortal. What does yes. the term immortal mean it's to you? It's talking about, you know that that passage is talking about Jesus, yeah? Is it? In unapproachable you, light. Yeah, yeah who, whom no man has seen. Has, have people seen it's Jesus? talking about Jesus. It says no, whom no man has seen or can see. God in all his glory. Oh, it doesn't say all his glory. You put the words in there. God took on no, flesh. No, no, no. He took on flesh. No, no, no. no. It God says he flesh. alone is immortal. He alone is immortal. Yes. What does the term immortal yeah. mean? So what do you get from um, one, uh, sorry, John 1, Colossians 1, Hebrews 1, where it says that Jesus is uncreated, therefore immortal. Are you not going to answer my question? You're going to another topic. I am topic. answering your question. It's I'm answering your question by saying that if God alone is immortal, and we see in Scripture that Jesus Christ has no beginning, I asked you, immortal. I asked you, what's the meaning of yes, immortal? Again, another side. I, I asked you, what's the meaning of Jesus immortal? You're explaining to me what is eternal. The two different meanings of, sorry, two different words having two different meanings. What does the word immortal mean, not eternal? Yeah, we're to live forever, yeah. Immortal. immortal is, that is eternal. That's what I'm saying, you're confused between the two different terminologies. The word immortal means someone who's not subject to death. Does that apply to Jesus? He overcame death. No, but did he, he die? Subject to but did he You've die? got to remember that at his weakest point, when Jesus is on the cross, did he die or not? He overcame death. But did he die? Yeah, he died. So, he's, he's, so he is and not he immortal. Over, he, of course he is. He overcame death. He Looks like you don't know the meaning showed, of immortal. He showed that. Okay. For Jesus, for, I don't think you know God, the meaning of death, immortal, death. and you're 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 some, somehow in denial of the meaning, and also what Jesus did on the cross. If you're saying that he was not crucified at all, then yes, you can say he's immortal. But if you're saying that he was crucified by his own creation, his own creation killed him for three days and three nights, then he is not immortal. He overcame death. So I think that you'll find Look, that overcoming death, overcoming death implies he died at some point, right? Are you with me? Overcoming death, overcoming death means you resurrected. And resurrected only applies to mortals. So Jesus was mortal, not immortal. Right. And he if he had stayed be dead immortal. in his grave, then that would have been evidence. No, he Jesus, didn't. He first, rose first again. You know, he overcame death. And by overcoming death, he denial. You're going into denial mode again. No, no. You, what was Adam? What was the I don't, I don't think you want to have a dialogue if you're going to keep being death, in denial. Death was our punishment, yeah? No, Christ that wasn't the punishment. No, no. Death is not a punishment. You see, it's death. And he overcame death. And because he has overcome, death is not a punishment. It is something which happens to everyone other than God. Death, we were never meant to die. Really? God created us. God so you're saying you us. were never meant to die? Adam sinned. Well, Adam sin means death, what? Death is the punishment for sin. What does what does death, death is what punishment. does that mean now, to you? Now, like I said, Christ I overcame death. death. That was the whole point. But did he because die? By one man's sin. Did he die or not? Did he die for three days or not? He died and overcame. Did the father death. die? No, no. I mean, we've got so the Father is God, yeah. Jesus is not God. Now listen, Hashim, we both know that you're not that interested in the truth, don't we? Yeah? The truth is what I'm telling you in the I'm Bible. You. I'm the Bible, I don't think that's true. The Bible is saying Hashim, that God is immortal, Hashim. she's saying... No, Hashim, I'm no, asking he died. You. I'm asking now whom should I believe? The Bible says that God never dies, or should I believe you that God Hashim, died? I'm whom asking do I believe? you, do you 
want the truth? Like, do you love God? Do you want? I think the truth? you. I don't I think you want, want to know the truth. I think. Yes. I think you are in denial of your own Bible. You don't want to know the truth. The Bible is the only book which demands blood. Repent, Hashim. Blood. Repent, Hashim. Repent from what? Repent for your sin. I have no issues repenting. Repent. Jesus himself Every says to repent. Every single person faces exactly. and comes to an understanding of what they are. In, in you got to repent. You got to repent from the it. human sacrifice you believe in. You need to that repent. That is, the pagans commit human sacrifice. Yeah. 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 That is a false religion, yeah. and which God rebuked in the Old Testament. God said that anyone who who, who sacrifices, they are the ones who have been rebuked by God in the Old Testament. They used to sacrifice their sons to Baal in the Old Testament. That is paganism. We've heard all this before. That's paganism. You know, when God gives himself for us, we accept him gratitude.